In case you were wondering, John Cena is still a major draw for WWE, and that is what we're going to be talking about in today's episode. So let's get into it. Now look, although he's been away from the company for over a year, John Cena is still a valuable draw for the company. WWE has pushed the brand first instead of an individual for years, so that way they don't have to rely on one person like they had been in the past, whether that be Austin, Hogan, Rock, Andre, etc. John Cena was the last big star the company built around, as the idea is a fan will buy a ticket to see a WWE show instead of who is on the card instead, right? The brand goes before anyone else. The brand is bigger than anyone else. However, Cena still moves tickets. And that was on display when it was first announced that he would be appearing on the December 30th edition of WWE SmackDown. Now, while speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer pointed out that after Cena was advertised, WWE sold 4,000 tickets to that December 30th show in Tampa, Florida. This was before WWE announced that Cena would actually be wrestling, which makes his appearance way more, uh, you know, notable and, and special as he teams up with Kevin Owens to take on Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn for a tag team match. Now, John Cena's WrestleMania 39 status is still in play and it's really up in the air because WWE simply just doesn't know if he's going to be able to do it or not. He films a new movie in February to March with Zac Efron. Obviously, WrestleMania takes place in April. How will that conflict? Is it going to be a situation where Cena wants to do Mania? He's just going to do it? As well as the TVs? Is it going to be a situation where like, he's not going to do any TV buildup, but he's just going to do a WrestleMania match, which would be a letdown? I don't see that happening because Cena has proven in the past that when he comes back and he does a big match, he wants to do everything. He wants to make all the TVs. He wants to make all the live events appearances, everything. And I take my hat off to him for doing so. But John Cena is still a major draw for WWE. And people shouldn't lose fact on that. 